Hi guys, welcome to the channel today. Um, today's video is going to be based on opinion, looking for comments on the issues which are going on in Rostermania at this moment in time. Um, one stands out in my eyes and that's no ball gaming and how a team which finished runners up in the season just gone confirmed its place in advanced warfare season one so you know got themselves two thousand pounds or two thousand dollars each and made the organization money with exposure on mlg etc um confirmed its place at the first mlg tournament so no need for open bracket um have managed to be replaced so as i'm sure you now know um parasite killer mercs and study have now taken over noble or the roster of noble um what i'm a bit baffled about is hang on the manager of noble um released a statement stating that he advised the team that they were looking to start a second team they was having discussions with mlg and that the guys decided um, that there would be no future for them, them at the team, so declared themselves FAs. However, later in that statement, um, he then states that he let the team go. What I'm literally baffled here is this time frame that he states is just over one day, one to two days. So you've got to ask your question this how has he managed to speak to mlg in regards to getting himself a second team example phase red phase black optic gaming optic nation etc um how has he managed to speak to mlg and then speak to these four players to confirm that he will get them in the league now to me personally it looks like he was always going to replace that team you know he brought these in sneakily and then he was just going to wash Gino slash and Miyagi and send her out now he's looking at the best interest for his organisation so you know you've got to see it from his side I personally can't and what I, what I think he's done is proper sharky behaviour. However, the people that should be looking after the players and the teams and almost trying to grow the community is Major League Gaming, MLG. Um, like many other issues, they have now just sat back and haven't put their foot down. And in my eyes, made the scene a proper laughing stock. Because where's the consistency? You get all these reports that they do, all these articles. We've got to make it consistent. We've got to do this. We've got to do that. Yet their rules don't allow that. Or, you know, don't back them up. Don't back the players or don't back the team. I, a perfect example is this rule that two players have to be qualified in the league or in the season why isn't that two players from the team has to be there these are simple rules but it just to me looks like they're constantly looking to make money and to, to be honest they've, they've got to make money but they're not looking at the best interest and in the overall picture this may be a ramble but in my eyes these the four players of Parasite Killer Merck's study they should not be allowed to play for Noble. They shouldn't be able to go as just one unit and just chuck themselves in the team. That shouldn't be allowed. But it's it's the same thing of complexity with EG. You know, EG came halfway through the season, brought the team. They kept that roster. Now you imagine the uproar if EG decided to get rid of that entire roster and bring in four new guys. I bet you any money MLG wouldn't allow it. 
So you're only left with, why are they allowing this to happen now to this small team? The small team that they should be protecting. In theory, if you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, if you've got any opinions based on this issue, and that's all I want this comments section for, leave them. Um, if you like the video, like it. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, I'm outie. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Toodles.